are just a simple registration with ARM, then you can apply for a, a plant import permit from Plant Quarantine Services Institute. Then we also issue a control of goods import permit set from the Ministry of Agriculture. Then you are put to here. And the quantities are not even limited. You can import as much as you want. But uh, for this product, uh, we were not issuing permits at the moment because I, we understand there is substantial amounts of flour locally. As you even witnessed on the show, there are a lot of local brands that are also available that can compete easily with this product. But due to the illegal nature of importing this product, this then will cause a negative competition on our local products because it is not paying good. Uh, it is not paying all the required statutory fees to obtain it a permit. So in order to bring sanity into the agricultural marketing space, we have to do these things once in a while. Uh, Plant Quarantine will write a seizure note that we have seized uh, so many quantities of flour from Spa 5 then they will issue a fine of 1,000 dollars. The fine has to be punitive so that uh, these companies and individuals will try by all means to abide by the law. So there is 1,000 from PQS, then we also have 100 from Armour, so the total will be 1.1. For other, for other products like uh, apples, grapes, they come and collect permits from our offices. So they know that these products require permits, but they are actually doing it uh, deliberately. So that's why we are seizing this flower from uh, Spa 5 Apple. So all others who have been smuggling products into the country, uh, the law is watching and the long arm of the law is going to catch up with you. And we are coming through all supermarkets, all tuck shops and all shops. We are going to do the same exercise.